Hello guys, and in today's video, we're going to be designing the templates for these mainstay Walmart clocks. So you're going to need your clock from Walmart, some glitter cardstock, a screwdriver, some double-sided tape or glue. You're going to need your cameo cut machine, and we're going to be designing these templates and designs in the Silhouette Studio program, okay? So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel, TaylorMade Creations. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the wall clocks by Mainstays from Walmart, the 8.78 size wall clocks, okay? And I previously showed you a picture of all the supplies you'll need, and you also need your printer. For today's video, I'm not going to be using sublimation. I'm just going to be using my HP Office Jet Pro printer an inkjet printer okay so and i'm going to be using my cameo 3 so this is for the ones that don't have access to sublimation printers and this is for the ones that have the cameo and you're going to be using your silhouette studio program okay this is i just have the basic edition right now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our silhouette studio software and i'm here you're gonna open up a new page okay and so the first thing i'm gonna do to get started i'm gonna go ahead and upload or drag in my clock template and this can be found on google or in one of the Facebook groups if you don't have it just leave me a comment down below of your email address and I'll be sure to send it to you I can email this to you okay so once I click and drag it in onto the canvas okay we're gonna go ahead and size it just make it small enough to fit inside this alright and the first thing we want to do we want to go over here and open up our trace panel okay you're gonna hit select trace area and then we want to come back over here and highlight our clock design okay and then over here where it says threshold I like to go ahead and take it up to about 80% okay so the threshold is at 80%. Come down here to trace style and click the first box that says trace. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and take away the white box area. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and delete it because we don't need it. So this, we just traced out our clock design. Okay. Go ahead and click on it. Select it. Close out the trace box. And then we want to go and open the fill panel. All right, you open up your fill panel and you can select any of these colors and you can even go to advanced options and choose and make your own color of the color that you want your numbers to be on your clocks, okay? We can fill it in with any color to match your design that you're going to be using, okay? So I'm going to be using this red color, okay? So we have our... You can go ahead and close the fill box. So now that we have our clock sized and colored in, move it to the side. Move it off your mat right now. And then we're going to come over here and select the drawing tools. And you want to scroll over to the Eclipse. And this is how we're going to make our circle, okay? So go ahead and draw out a circle. All right, and once you draw out that circle, we're going to come up here to the width. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the size of the big circle, okay? So for this circle, for the, the wall clock, you want it to be 7.25 by 7.25. Okay, you hit enter. Go ahead and lock it in. And then we're going to put in some sizes for the X and Y points just so it makes it easier to cut out 
to print out and design so that everything lines up. So for the X, we're going to put in 0 0.295. And for the Y, we're going to put in 0 0.855. And I'll leave everything down below. Or I, when I, if you leave a comment down below with your email address, when I email you the clock template, I can put these on the bottom, the everything, all the measurements on the bottom of it and send it to you in your email, okay? So it'll make it easier. You won't have to try to remember all these numbers. Okay, so we're gonna hit enter on that, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and click and make our smaller circle, okay? Then we're gonna come up here and do the same thing, put in our size for the smaller circle. For the smaller circle, we're gonna use 0.375. We'll go ahead and unlock it first. So for the width, once you unlock it, 0 0.375. The height is also going to be 0 0.375. Hit enter. Go ahead and unlock it. For the X, we're going to use 3.755. And for the Y, we're going to use... 4.265. This is important so that everything lines up with the clock and the template is fits perfectly inside the clock. Okay. All right. So we got all of that lined up. So now we have our circle here, right? And now let's just bring our, um, okay, let's delete that. We got to go back over here and select our arrow. Okay, we're gonna bring our number back over. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and size it. And this is really a personal preference, how you want it to fit inside your clock. But make sure that the six and the 12 and the nine and the three is of course lined up perfectly with the circle, with the small circle in the middle, okay? So you're gonna make sure that it's lined up perfectly with the circle in the middle. And you can make it bigger or smaller. You don't want it to be too small. But I'm going to go ahead and size it. Just kind of eyeball it. And make sure everything is lined up in the center of the circle. And it's even on both sides. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm just trying to make sure it's not too wide. Okay, so that's good. Okay, and we have it lined up. Let's go ahead and move that to the side. And now we're getting ready for our design, okay? So whatever design you're going to use, you want to go ahead and open it up. And I think it's best to use a um, PNG file. I'm using the PNG files. I'm doing this for my kids. So I'm going to use a baby shark file. Okay. And with Silhouette Studio, it's good that you can we can just drop the design in. So I'm going to click on the design that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to drop it inside the circle. Simple as that. Just drop it inside the circle. Okay. Now that we have that, our design placed inside, we can go ahead, drag our numbers back over. Before you fully drag it over, go up top and you want to bring it to the front, okay? So that we can see where we need to place it and line it up. Go ahead and place it and line it up. Make sure it's centered off of the small circle in the middle.
Okay, so that looks good. All right, so there we have it. We have created our clock template. We created the numbers. We created the circle. We input the design into it, and now you want to go ahead and print it out, okay? So you're going to go file, print, and it's important to have your printer set up to the right paper, the right, right quality. I'm using my HP OfficeJet Pro. Paper type, I'm, I put it on specialty paper, glossy, and it depends on your printer. This stuff will look different. But I'm going to go ahead and print it out, and I'm going to print it out on the on the glitter cardstock, but you can print it out on whatever paper you want to print it out on. I also tried one earlier, and I printed it out on the um, photo glossy paper, and it actually more vibrant on the photo glossy paper than it is on the glitter cardstock but for this video I'm going to show you using the glitter cardstock so I'm going to go ahead and print it out And once I get it printed out, you want to go ahead, let's see, and move your numbers to the side, okay? And then you want to go and select send. So right now, once we print out our design, it comes out. We're going to place our image on our cutting mat, on our silhouette cutting mat, okay? You place it on the mat, and then we're going to send it to our cutting machine and cut it out, okay? And so over here for the tools and the material, you want to select cardstock glitter, and it should automatically go to cut the auto blade and it's going to automatically set your force to 33, your speed to 3, and it's going to have two passes, okay? So it's going to cut it a total of two times because of the thickness of the cardstock, okay? All right, so once I go over here and load my cut machine, I'm going to go ahead and press send and then it's going to cut it. All right, so I'll see you over at the cut machine. All right, so I'm over at the cut mat, okay? And you wanna go ahead and make sure that it's adhered to the mat. So when it's cutting it, it don't move around on the mat, okay? So I'm just making sure that it's pressed down nice. Nice to the um, nice and make sure it's stuck to the back of the mat, okay. And you're gonna make sure you line it up evenly. You want to make sure you have it lined up even on the mat. Go ahead and press it down. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and load our mat and it's going to start to cut. Cut our clock design out. And I found this easier to do than the um, sublimation because simply because I don't have to wait for my heat press to heat up and stuff. Alright, so you want to go ahead and hit send on your computer inside your software program. And now it's just going to go ahead and cut out the design, okay? And while that's cutting out, I'm just going to show y'all the one that I cut out on. This is the photo glossy paper. 
I used the glossy photo paper and I cut this one out. And I think it's more vibrant than the um, glitter cardstock, but it's all your personal preference. And then th with this, it's because it, it's thin, it does roll up. But once you put your double-sided tape or your glue on the back and glue it down to the inside of the clock, you won't have that issue, okay? So then you're gonna go ahead and press unload. Take that part off. And it should peel right up. And there we have it. We have our clock template. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I assemble it back. I already have the clock taken apart. I have one taken apart already, but this is how it looks in the box. And when you get ready to take it apart, you're just gonna unscrew the back. I'm not gonna take it all the way apart because I have one taken apart already. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so you take that apart. And go ahead and pull it up out of the box. You're going to go ahead and take your, um, your screwdriver. But for today's video, I'm just using a drill because it's faster. So if you have a drill, you can use it or you can use your... Um, screwdriver okay a small screwdriver and see you just take the screws out I found this much faster than trying to unscrew the screws I'll go ahead and take it apart because it may be somebody that doesn't know how to take it apart. So it won't take long. All right, so I have my six screws taken out, place them to the side. Go ahead and pick this part up. You can set your glass to the side. All right, so now what we're going to do, we want to take this out, the part that holds the battery, and it has these little clamps on the side where we can pop them out, but you want to hold on to it, and you want to go ahead and pop them out. You want to make sure that you don't bend your the hands, and remember the position of the hands okay so the big hand is on the bottom the second hand is in the middle and you have your seconds the minute hand is in the middle and then you have your second hand so the hour the minute hand and the seconds okay i'm gonna go ahead and pop it out all right place that to the side all right I'm gonna go ahead and place that to the side. And this is the part we're gonna be working on, okay? This doesn't come out, it's stuck to it. But this is where we're gonna go ahead and place our template. See, it fits perfectly inside, okay? I'm thinking I should have done my letters in black, but it's okay, it's for my kids. And my son said he liked the red letters, so. All right, so it fits perfectly inside. And the way we're gonna get it to here, I have this glue tape. 
It's glue tape. You can use double-sided tape or you can use any kind of tape you want to use. But I'm going to place this in here and not go I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this glue tape. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on it. Put enough on there so it's covering the whole back so it don't come up or slide around. So I have my glue tape on there. I'm bring this back over. And when you're putting it inside of it, make sure you have it lined up correctly. Because once you put it inside with the glue or the tape on the back, it's in there. Okay, see? I'm going to make sure it's lined up perfectly. together go ahead and start with the back and you know the battery faces the bottom and then you're gonna go ahead and put the hour hand on first Then you're gonna put your minute hand on. Be sure not to bend it. And then you're gonna, the second hand goes on last, okay? And it's in there. And then you wanna go ahead and place it back inside your glass. And you wanna line it up with the screws. So you can line it up with the holes so you can get ready to put your screws back on the inside, okay? See? Perfect. The template fits perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw my screws back in the inside. This is, I think this is pretty easy, pretty simple. You can also use sublimation if you like to use sublimation. I don't think there's anything wrong with using the um, regular ink because it's not like you're washing it. So I don't think it'll have a problem lasting with the regular ink. I think it'll do hold up pretty good. I just didn't want to... I, I will do some of them in um, sublimation. But I'm doing this on a break, so I just want to go ahead and show you guys really quick how simple it is. And I know a lot of us, a lot of people, they don't have the sublimation printers yet, so. You can do this without using them. Okay, yeah. All right. And there we have it. We have our clock. I don't have any batteries in it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and move the, the hour around to show you that it works. Everything's back in place, okay? And you just put a battery in it. If you plan on selling it or shipping it out, you clean up the front, put a battery in it, and you can put it back in the box. Keep your box and keep the screws on the back and your paper. You can put it back in your box. And this makes 
a perfect shipping box you can put inside another box and ship it out okay so there we have it we have our clocks from walmart the mind stain wall clock okay and i just showed you how to design the template in studio silhouette studio i showed you how to take apart the clock and how to cut out your design and everything and go ahead and assemble it back so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up leave any comments or feedback in the comment box down below and if you'd like for me to send you the clock the number clock template please leave your email address down below in my comments and i'll send you the template for the clock along with the sizes for you to put into the silhouette studio okay and if you're new and haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and i will be posting more helpful tutorials okay i try to post two to three times a week and i thank you for joining me today for this tutorial and I'll see you next time, okay?